IFWTO 2020. My name is Carrie Swanson and I'm the Director of Development for our collective. We are bringing Indigenous fashion to you from the shores of Lake Ontario and we'd like to acknowledge this land as the treaty territory of the Mississaugas of the Credit and the traditional territory of the Anishinaabe, the Haudenosaunee and the Huron-Wendat. I would like to begin by acknowledging our presenting partner, Harbourfront Centre, and their entire team for their tireless work in making this possible. Thank you to our public funders, the Canada Council for the Arts, Indigenous Services Canada, Canadian Heritage, our Ontario Arts Council, Toronto Arts Council, and the City of Toronto. Thank you to our foundation partner in spirit. We want to thank our partners at Ryerson School of Fashion for their continued support as our panel series sponsor. We're grateful for the amazing collaboration with this year's designer sponsor, Simons. And a huge thank you to Matt Cosmetics, our makeup partner. Nothing is possible without community, and we would like to thank all of our community partners, APTN, Mizuwe Beak, OCAD University, and Chateau Mischief. And finally, chimigwech to all of you for being here with us now, watching and supporting our work. Enjoy the festival. And now it's over to Heather Haynes. Hi everyone, my name is Heather Haynes and I'm the producer within our collective for Indigenous Fashion Week Toronto. I want to give a very warm welcome to all of you for joining us tonight and thank you so much. The production and creative process for these films has been an incredible journey. Artists from theater, dance, film, music, and fashion have all come together to exchange in one another's artistic language and process. And through their efforts, four extraordinary films with one unified vision have been created. Under COVID, of course, this was particularly challenging, but we came together as a creative force to support one another and find pathways to work within this new environment. It has felt so good for us to create art again and be together safely, and we are very grateful for this opportunity. I want to give a very heartfelt and warm thanks to our incredible team and a congratulations to our incredible team at IFWTO, the Harbor Front Center, thank you, and to the outstanding performers and all the designers for their patience creative, brilliance, unity, and exuberance in this project. Thank you all so much. And now I'm gonna pass it to Sage Paul. Hi everyone, I am Sage Paul. I am the artistic director here at Indigenous Fashion Week Toronto and uh, our collective. Um, welcome to day one of Indigenous Fashion Week Toronto, second biennial, biennial festival, the online edition. I hope you have all enjoyed today's programs of panels and shopping. This has been a trying year, and as our community has always been, we remain resilient with and for each other to continue to hold space for Indigenous creators in fashion, craft, and textiles. Tonight, I am delighted to introduce the first night of Runway Films. These films brought together several individuals, including the designers and their teams, to the IFWTO Selections Committee, to the film production crew, and now you, the audiences, community, and family. I am profoundly grateful and filled with such love to see us coming together like this. Tonight's program, curated by the IFWTO Selections Committee, Rayanne Chartrand, Melanie Egan, and myself, is a vibrant group of Indigenous designers featuring a series of collections of streetwear, high fashion, and strong messaging for protest, sovereignty, and protection. Feature, um, on behalf of the Selections Committee, we are proud to present Miss Chief Rocca, uh, Mobilize, Ayamach, Section 35, and Skawinati in the runway program to get enough. Water is life. Keep stay safe, stay inside, and enjoy.
water is life. 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 Life. Water is 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 life. Water